The garden hen are still here. They're answering some of our audience questions. Uh, let me start out with, we have baby chicks here. We know oftentimes at uh, Easter time, someone will be given a baby chick and they're not realizing that that baby chick is, is a live thing that needs some attention and maybe not too much attention from the kids, right? Right. Well, I would completely agree. A chicken is not just a pet, but it's an animal. You have to properly care for it. So as much as I love that chickens are just as much as the bunny adored on Easter, you have to properly take care of it. Right. So I just recommend please don't get an animal unless you're willing to see it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how much should we be handling? How much? I, I hesitate to pick it up right Not now. Not a lot of handling in the very beginning, but after a couple of days, their immune system's actually built up quite a bit. So these guys are big enough to handle. So in the classrooms, when we hatch out the babies, we're just having the teacher handle them for the first two days. And then after that, the kids can interact with them. All right. We have some questions from our live studio audience. And our first one comes from Autumn. Hi, Autumn. Uh, what is the lifespan of a chicken? Yes. The, the natural I, lifespan. I, I, yeah. Actually, uh, eight to ten years is pretty good for a backyard chicken. Um, the oldest living chicken to date lived over the to the age of eighteen. So oh, wow! Um, like they can, years yes, almost. they can live much longer, but I say about eight to ten years is a good life expectancy. But on a farm, you might have more stresses, so the life expectancy of a chicken on a farm is a lot less than it would be in a backyard where we can pamper it like a pet. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, and then of course, as we talked about before, there are things out there that will prey on those chickens. So you have to be careful with that. All right, Faye. Good morning. What's your question? How old does the chick have to be to start producing eggs? Oh, when when can they start working? <laughs> when, how old are they when they start earning their keep? Having fun, right? Yes, yeah. so between five and six months. So from eight to six months, that's literally full grown. So five yeah. to six months is what I tell people. <laughs> you got another question, Faye? You had also another question, didn't you? You know, okay, you, well, you're, it says here your other question was, are there certain breeds that are easier to raise than others? Okay. Yeah, kind of like, like dogs. You know what, that, that, is, is, that is a great question. I love the Silky, uh, personally. I think it's a good starter chicken is what I tell people. They are medium production layers. They're sweet, they're soft, and I, I call them mine at home. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to anything else, but I do. Oh, they're so cute. I love these. I like, look. There you go. All right. Uh, we have Chase who has a question. Good morning, Chase. How are you? Good. Have you ever seen chickens live before? No? Yeah, okay. Why don't you walk on up here? Walk up there. He's got a hold of the Okay. So I'm going to turn you around here and I'm going to see if I can put that in your hand. Okay. There you go. Oh, hold on to him. Hold on to him. There you go. There you go. Good job, Look dude. at that. He's a natural. Yes. And what was your question for chicken life? Chicken? Do chickens fight each other? No. Oh. Chase, that's actually a good question. We talked about earlier is the pecking order, so sometimes it may appear when they peck and pick on each other that they are fighting. That's just actually a form of communication with them. But sometimes chickens do get angry with one another, and they do pick on one another a little bit more than they should, but it's not so much fighting. It's just more of a, a pecking and picking and constantly pecking out feathers sometimes, like how Deborah was talking earlier. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to be in the middle of the hen house when they're upset. <laughs> right. Not be the only boy with the girls in the hen yeah, house. Yeah, right, right. Okay, so do me a favor and take the microphone over to the next person who had a question. I believe that that next person is Rosie. So let's get that over there to Rosie. Uh, too many snakes where we are. I know Bob just caught two out on the property where we have our large coop, where we have our eggs for the schools. Mm -hmm. And to tell you the truth, one indicator to know if you have a snake around your chickens is that the eggshells, a snake will actually eat the egg, then regurgitate the eggshell. So if you don't necessarily see the snake, but you have a bunch of eggshells broken up in the, in the coop, you know you probably have a culprit around there somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you have another question? And my next question was, uh, how many chickens do you all uh, hatch at one time. Yes, ma'am. So we actually have these smaller incubators right here that hatch seven eggs at a time. We have other size incubators at the house when we do larger uh, hatches.
But for the classrooms, we like to keep it small and simple, and seven's a perfect number that the kids can get a good feel for the life cycle and the different stages for the education program that we do. How do you know an egg is fertilized? So we know the chickens will lay the eggs and then walk off, and then also they'll lay some eggs and they'll sit on them. That's a good question. Well, they're fertile if there's a rooster present. If there is no rooster present, they, they cannot be fertile. Right. So, so all those eggs that were out there could have been chicks, because we don't, like we had all these chickens, but not all of them hatched. Exactly. So sometimes uh, new mothers may not be great at sitting on their eggs completely for that 21 day process. It may take them a couple of times of doing it and being a mother before they actually go through the process fully. Um, but anytime I do want to tell y'all guys at home, anytime you pull an egg out of a refrigerator, there never can be a baby in it. Because once you refrigerate the egg and wash off the bloom, there's no chance that a baby can even form. It kills the cell, and there's and you can throw it in the incubator for 50 days and it won't hatch. Yeah, yeah. And what about just putting eggs in the refrigerator, period? I know my mom, you know, who was 97 when she passed away, she's like, you know, look, we didn't know anything about refrigeration back then, and the eggs she thought tasted better. I don't think that we even refrigerate our eggs unless we get the pinch and buy from the store. So usually the eggs don't last long enough to refrigerate in our house. So you can yeah. leave an egg on the shelf on your counter if you don't wash it off for at least six to seven, maybe even eight days. Yeah, all right, tell us about this right here. This is another form. Education. Yeah, so this is just part of a little tool that we use in our classroom. So this shows the life cycle stages of the chicks. So if we turn it around right here, okay. it kind of gives the kids like an indication of, of what the chicken looks like in the different stages. Because eggs aren't clear. Right. So, you know, so that's what it is. We also have a sing-along song called 21 Days that teaches the kids the life cycle stages in rhythmic form. I'm not going to sing right no, now. No, I was going to say, you know when you right, sing, okay, you have here, a song. Here's a little jingle. So it's 21 days, 21 days. What can hatch in 21 days? Day one, the tissue starts. Day two, here comes the heart. Day three, the blood vessels grow. Don't forget the tail bud. And so you learn them rhythmically in seven-day increments. Uh, okay. And I know you have some wipes right here. Uh, and I want to say to my son after he was handling chickens, I said, okay, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Okay, so just in terms of, of just being safe with your, with, you know, putting your hands in your mouth or your eyes and stuff like that with chickens. Yeah, we always want to te teach ourselves to, to be clean. So as, a, as human nature, we like to wash our hands. We like to keep our hands clean, especially before and after you hold chickens. And, 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 yeah, yeah. It's just sanitary for you and for me. Yeah, yeah, well, actually, my, my cat looks at us and she's like, Archie, don't wash your hands before petting <laughs> All right, we'll be right back.